Hey everyone, Starfire here, and we are playing a Minecraft adventure map called Bowfield? I think I'm saying that right? Uh, I just came out of that hole over here because there was like a tutorial thing. Yeah. Um, so, let's immediately get started. After a quick swim, you hear your parents calling you from inside your house. Let's go inside. Um, that garden through here. Ah, there's my parents. They're a bit blocky, a little more blocky than me. Please read note one. Oh, okay, so in the bed, read a story. Um, so, let's see, notes. Uh, note one. Please say this is gonna work. And it's gonna open this up, brilliant. Well, I don't know how to change it, so, oh, this looks nice, this looks nice, okay. Note one. Okay. Okay. Me and your mother have decided that you can't live here anymore. Well, that's not nice. You're a nuisance. We, and we'd be better off without you. If you can prove to us you have what it takes to be a real man. Well, I, I'm not a man. If you can notice by my, my beautiful voice, I am, in fact, a lady. So, you're wrong there. Don't even know your daughter girl. Kind of scary. But, okay, whatever. You can stay here. Go down to the patch to bowl field and go down... That said go down twice and it messed me up. And go down to the fishing shop. I know the man there. Here's four dollars for the room. If that's enough. Oh, and Mr. F oh, and Mr. Flair is in the back garden cleaning up the hay. Go help him. He might give you something in return. Well, my dad's a jerk. Just gonna start off there by saying it. Okay. Take this picture pitchfork and clear out the hay. I'll give you two dollars in return. Okay. Now I can't grab those money until I done the quest, by the way. That's said in the tutorial. Ooh, money. Hopefully all this I'm cool with taking. But I'm gonna take it anyways. And where's my two dollars he said he was gonna give me? Maybe I need to do it first, I don't know. Or I already got it. But we can place the money up here, which I think is convenient. So back to garden. So we're gonna clear the hay. There I take oh I took the pitchfork. Um so this is the hay I think. Which is sand, I believe. Does it say hey? No, oh, the sand. Am I gonna find a secret? Nope. And I burped her on accident. But do not worry. I can just place it back up. Okay. More hay. I think this is a shovel. Secrets? Nope. You yeah, cleared all the hay. Uh. Okay. Thanks, buddy. He's not really my friend. He let me get kicked out of my house. Okay, so uh, I did that. He said maybe I'll give you something in return. Four bucks. Um. So where am I? ah, the path. I think he said something about a path. Hopefully there's no monsters because I did hear a spider there before. And now I hear more stuff. We're just going to run past it. We got a bat. Bowl field. I think I'm saying that all the right way. Hopefully. I hear like these spiders. Um, okay. Auntie Clara's bed and breakfast. Hey you, I'm working on this secret project and all I need are a couple of feathers from the top of this building. Find your own way up. Oh, and this will be your reward. Ooh. Okay, so we gotta find our way up. Cause I need my... Well, I don't know why I started seeing that. Makes no sense. I feel like this is the right way. Seems convenient. Yep. Boop. 
feathers and eggs. Don't know why I need eggs. Am I supposed to? Could I just leap down? I don't know if I can make it. Ooh. Okay, here's your feathers. Thank you for that. Very nice. Doing quest. Pretty exciting stuff. So what did my father say? Magic training down the alley. Hands will be handed out. Ooh, I want to do that. Magic training towards. Yeah, yeah. I want to learn magics. To stop stealing, you you must complete and... Oh, I can't leave up there. Water bucket, fire wand. Oh, so it's a bucket of what? Uh, bucket? A bucket of water and a fire wand? I don't know what that is, actually. Maybe lava or flint and steel. When directly told to, you can use the fire wand. Burn the wool above. Oh, okay. I'm guessing that's going to be, um, sand's going to flop down. Which is just hay. Or gravel. Depending how long it's going to take for this to burn. Hello. Woo. Yep. Cool. When you see those blue water symbols, it means, yeah, water, water wand. You can use the water wand there. It's creative. I like it. Those, oh, I thought the signs would get swooped away. And then you gotta pick up the water again. Boop. Pretty neat. Now I'll use the water wand to get back down. Okay. If I can click it back. Okay. Boop. Boop. And slowly descend. Beautiful. Congratulations, you've done an exit there. Wow, that was simple. To open the door, you must fall on the side to the left. Oh, I don't, I don't get to keep my wands. I learned magic and I got nothing to show for it. Two. Oh, that was, oh, so I can't go back over there. Brilliant. Shop. Can I buy wands? Please, no, please, please. Why am I saying that? Stop it. Stop being such a jerk. I am the champion, my friend. Yes. Okay, so. Ooh, Dwarven book. That sounds cool. Uh, wooden tools, $4 each. Torches, 12 for 34 Uh, Dwarven book, one. Checkpoint bed, grilled pork chest. Um. I could dig in too deep. Oh my god, that's that's amazing. I could use some cooked pork chops. So how's how much is that? I got some money. Let's buy uh one, two, three. Buy all three. It was a dollar each, right? Oh, two dollars each. Uh, that's a bit steep. So I bought one so far. Two. We'll buy two. Okay. We can do this. Um, can I buy my dollars back? Uh, digging too deep. That's so good. Maybe I'll buy that. Want to buy that too? So, but digging too deep. Cooked pork chop. How much for the wooden tools? Four each. Ugh, I don't. I only have one, enough for one of those left. Wait, 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 wait. We should eat the bread first. Perfect. Creeper came out of nowhere. Um. So what am I? Let's read this. Digging too deep. Digging too deep. The short novel by Cal Calderbar Calderbar Granite Beard. Brilliant. Author of Digging to Diamond. Below the crystal valley, through the severe tree, severed trees. And past the great sea of Kellen Stark lies the small mining village of 
Chef Steel. Wow, this is long. Um, did it? Oh, that was the first thing I that. Okay. Forever produce, producing coal, this small village was n filled with sadness. Never did anyone get any iron, nor did any soul ever see the likes of diamond. Forever they would pump out lump after lump of that hideous black substance people would throw unwanted, unwantedly into their furnaces. Furnaces? Furnaces? I don't know. The people of Shaft Steel could barely live. And so a huge town meeting was arranged around the middle of the year. All were invited to discuss the matter of digging further into the shaft, to venture into the parts unknown, to brave the darkness and be at one with the stone. Found down there, of course, it would be was a risk, but this town had nothing left to lose. Venturing further down past the vicious green bombs and the blue spiders, they would finally find those precious ores they needed so much. The first team to fully encounter to this insane expedition was the Dwarven Miners Forgery Team. They had braved to the depths of 20 blocks under the soil and so were used to dark. They were and so were used to darkness. That, I don't even know. After a few days, they were ready for their perilous, I think it's the right? Adventure. Chapter 2. Mm, I don't know if I should keep right reading, or if we should just do steps by steps. Eh, we'll finish it. Five dwarves of the team were ready to get their mining gear together. They got their leather armor, their tor stone picks and their torches, their ladders and their bows. In one day they would mine deeper into the shaft and find all the treasures they that awaited them down there. The day after they s slowly trudged towards the mine, the whole town watched as they waved and walked into the darkness that soon followed them home. They went down the first shaft the main one which went down 20 blocks. They soon began to dig and dig and dig. One of the dwarves grew tired, shouted, we need a song to sing as we dig the hole. Oh my god, really? Of course, I already know what's gonna happen. The others, none, the others knew of none and so soon grew tired as well. Suddenly they heard running water. They quickly attacked the s stone with their pickaxes and soon found a small cave. The first door at almost fell over as he sprinted towards the shiny iron that beamed in front of them. Another quickly fell more and soon their bags were full with iron. One of the dwarves said, we should head back now, but the others disagreed. We can get... Eat more we get uh, okay we can get more we can even try for diamonds or even the stone of red I think they mean I think that's red I, I can't really see with the arrow the others were so excited by the this idea they quickly started digging digging it again digging directly below them they soon stumbled upon another cave one of them found redstone more iron and even lava. You better watch out, it'll kill ya, said the eldest dwarf, explaining it. Epic, it's epic heat. The other dwarves then began to dig deeper toward the darker regions. <laughs> Sorry, I'm such an idiot. Towards Diamond. After a few minutes and a couple of si sing songs, they reached the third cave. It was huge, but lava sat bubbling at the bottom, teasing them. Just in the middle of the cave was a stalagmite of a diamond surrounded by the red liquid. Chapter 3 The dwarves got their ladders down and started lad ladders out and started to descend into the bubbling cauldron. Sweating and panting and wheezing, they sweating, panting and wheezing, they reached the middle and soon started to dig into the precious cyan crystals. They got a dozen in, were filled with joy, but still one of the dwarves said, let's go deeper. Don't dig too deep. There's 
an unbreakable stone down there. We must try and get some. While well, this made no sense at all, the other dwarves were eager to dig more. They began digging under the slag went as fast as, as they could. They were digging and digging and suddenly the ground beneath them rumbled and it cracked and shattered. And then all five dwarves fell and fell and fell and fell from the darkness to the lava. They fell towards the empty void below them, their golden beards flailing behind them and they never to be seen again for they for they dug too deep the end that was a brilliant story i like that a lot um okay i don't know how long i've been recording for but i think this should be it for today like and favor if you enjoyed subscribe to become a meteor and i'll see you guys next time thanks for watching bye